Hey everybody, Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper coming at you live from the cabin with the shaky hand cam because it is the end of the year, which means a lot of people are thinking about their planning systems for the next year. And I am seeing folks who want to start bullet journaling, but they feel like they can't because of a million reasons. I want to rant about a couple of them and talk about the purpose of bullet journaling and some of the myths that have gotten in the way. Let's get started. One. People tend to think that the name bullet journal means that it's talking about the bullets as in the dot grid notebook, and that is not true. Um, the dots are actually just a preference for people who use a journal. You can use whatever you want, lined, grid, dot, blank, whatever. The bullet part of bullet journal in the system is about the signifiers that you use and that you are rapid logging and that you're using bullets to quickly get your tasks from your head onto paper. Two, I feel like this comes up again and again. People say they stop bullet journaling because they don't have time to draw out all these spreads. And uh, let me just be here to remind you that you do not have to do shit for month those monthly, weekly, daily spreads. All the bullet journal system really requires you to do is label the top of your piece of paper. It does not require you to have a monthly theme, color schemes, different doodles, none of that is necessary. Is that stuff that people like to do? Absolutely. I'm sure that if I could do a beautiful line drawing of a peony, I would try to do it more times, but I don't. And if you notice on any of my spreads, like the most I really do is some highlights, some calligraphy, because that's what I do in my other job. The point of the bullet journal is not about the themes and not about complex spreads. It's literally about listing and then reviewing your lists and taking notes. That's all it has to be. So please reset those expectations and give yourself some permission to just make some lists, label the, label the pages and keep going. Three, another major question that a lot of people ask is what supplies they might need for bullet journaling or what they wanna give somebody for bullet journaling to get started. And the answer is anything you want. And that is so personal to everybody because it depends on what size that you like, what size makes sense for you in your life, what you prefer in terms of paper? Do you need it to be white? Do you like it kind of off-white? Do you like grids? Some people really don't like grids uh, or dots. So it's, again, a very personal question as to what journal or pen, even more, more personal, I think, pens. So when you're thinking about what supplies you need, just think about what supplies you want to use. And you're going to figure that out very quickly when you get started. You do not need to have the same highlighters and pens that everybody has on Instagram because I can tell you there's probably a lot of people who aren't on Instagram that are using like a lined notebook and like a ballpoint pen from the bank. Number four, people are asking a lot of questions about what pages and spreads they need to have in their 2021 bullet journal setup and you don't really need too much. You just have your future log, you have your index if you use that, and then you use your monthlies you use your maybe weeklies if you find those useful, and then you use dailies. And then from there, it's whatever you personally need. This is really hard because I think we're trying to pre-plan a bunch of stuff. And not only will you find yourself tracking stuff that you don't actually care about or creating spreads about things that you don't actually care about, you're gonna see things that emerge throughout time. Actually, that is the gift of the bullet journal is actually seeing what needs emerge over time and being able to turn the page and incorporate those into your system. So if you think that you are gonna be screwed if you don't get all of your trackers right right away or the, your books to read list ahead of time, please give yourself some grace around that and allow that to show up if you actually need it. A lot of times you think you know what you're gonna need and it turns out that you live it a little bit differently. And so try letting yourself create, try giving yourself permission to just create the very, very basic spreads. And then if there's stuff lists that you know you need, add those in, but then try turning the page and creating those lists only as you need them. Otherwise, you might be spending time on something that you don't actually care about. This happens to me all the time. Like in grad school, I was chasing after these internships because I was told that I needed these certain competency areas. And after a semester of doing that, I like had this awakening that I was doing shit that I didn't even really want to do. 
And so I had to tune back in with myself and ask what matters to me. What is something that will make a difference for me and my experience and then chase after that. So if you don't want need to track sleep, don't track sleep. If you don't need to track your mood, don't track your mood. But if you find something that emerges that you would find interesting and meaningful, go ahead and add that list as it comes up. Lastly, a lot of people are afraid they're going to mess up their bullet journal or something and you can't. There's no way. This is your life in a journal and lives are not like Instagram. They are a lot more like Snapchat. So giving yourself just the relief and release of knowing that this system is supposed to be a way for you to learn more about yourself. I have been rereading the bullet journal method, the book that was written by Ryder Carroll, who created the system. And it has been really, really revitalizing for my bullet journal practice. I've been doing this since 2015 and I've seen it evolve over time. Things I've let go of, things I've picked up again. And at the core of it all, we have to remember that the point of the system is to be a tool for us to live uh, our lives better. We want to use this notebook as a way of logging some of the things so that we can look back and see what can be learned. What do we learn about ourselves? What do we learn about our lives? Our preferences, the ways that our brain processes information. And you don't have to do what other people are doing to do that. This is supposed to be your journal. At the end of the day, you're going to evolve and so will your notebook, so will your spreads, so will the things that you track. So let it evolve, experiment a ton. Each week, a new experiment. Don't get too far ahead of yourself because you can't pre-guess what you are going to need next month. So roll with it and see what happens. The point is for it to be yours and useful. So always center back into what you want this notebook to be for anyway. It's not for Instagram. It's not for me. It's not for Ryder even. It is for you. So what do you need to do to make that a useful tool to live your best life? Whew. Don't even get me started. Whew. Thank you for bearing with me on the shaky cam. I am so sorry. I will find my arm so that it can hold up my phone a little bit more steadily. But this is my mini, mini rant. Feel free to add your own rants at the bottom in the comments. I would love to hear what your hot takes are. And then if you like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.